Okay, hello to the group. I am a pencil nerd. There, I admitted it. I admitted it. This is the problem. I, uh, I became a pencil nerd about five years ago. And since then, I've been collecting. And this is my collection. I've got all kinds of stuff here. And it just keeps going and going and going. Blackwings, Tombos, Mitsubishis, etc., etc. Square pencils, triangular pencils. Goes on and on. But this is what I'm going to focus on today. Is the Duraflame. If I can get this to focus. And then... I want to pull down one of these, and I'll pull down one of these too. Okay, here we go. Okay, I'm at the desk now. So this is pretty exciting because, um, I'm, as you just as you just saw, I'm a big pencil pencil nerd, and Duraflame, the Duraflame pencil purchased from. I think it, I may have purchased it from Pencils.com. Not too sure, though. Um, pencils.com is owned by Cal Cedar. And Cal Cedar, from what I understand, used to own Duraflame. And then they eventually sold it. Um, but somehow in that mix, uh, Cal Cedar was able to make pencils for the brand Duraflame. And they're very similar to uh, the Camel pencil. With the eraser and these were one of the first pencils I purchased and they are probably in my top five top five of all the pencils on the board there that I just love I love how it writes I love how it's constructed I love the eraser um, the graphic is excellent and it represents a company that does used to do great things for the pencil world and I'm sure they still do and then I found the camels. Um, and it, the similarities are, of course, the eraser. And I don't know um, if Duraflame was ever involved with the camel manufacturing whatsoever or the camel company. And then I also found the Helvetica pencil. But on the eBay, I found from Oregon Mountain Picker some vintage Duraflames. And they're pretty rare. And I was really excited. Because they don't make these anymore. These are not sold anymore. Um, and that's really unfortunate. I think I may have bought them all. I think I may have a dozen and a half in my storage. In my pencil storage. So every once in a while, I'll go to eBay and mess around. And take a look. Yada yada. And just like everybody else, I'll find stuff. Got to be careful here because I don't want to damage any of the any of the product. Although I probably will in my excitement. And of course, I don't know how to cut stuff with my knife. And these are them. If I had a drum roll, roll I'd be. I'd be doing the, the, the drum roll. And of course, the, the shipper did a great job. Usually, I will try to pre unwrap the stuff to save the madness of, it all, of all the weirdness being on camera. But I didn't, so you can fast forward if you like. But these are them. And I don't know what vintage these are. I am going to have to look them up and see. But I have, what, five here. And it's a different design. And... It even says made in Japan down here in the lower area. And I'm 
I'm, I'm, I just think they're, I just think they're awesome that I was able to find them and I can put them on my pencil board. What does that say? Distributed by Durflame Incorporated, Stockton, California, 95203. And of course it doesn't want to focus. That's okay. So I am torn as to whether or not I'm going to sharpen one of these up. I probably am. I'm probably going to sharpen them up, sharpen one up and use it. And then have one for the board. And then three, four, you know, my, uh, my end of the world go-to pencil collection stock. But these are the Duraflames. And the, the great thing is the provenance and the history of, of, of where they were in with Cal Cedar and the pencil world and in California. And it's just, uh, I don't know. It just kind of hit home. And the, the, the eraser is a different color, almost like it, it matches the paint. So I wish I had a dozen. I wish I had more because I always want more pencils. I'm, I'm taking my medication. So I'm doing okay. Just kidding. I'm not on any medication. So that's my uh, my Duraflame haul. And these ones, the Helveticas, I don't think you can get any more either. But you can still get the camels. And the camels are in my tops also. These are incredible, incredible pencils. Um, HB, the Duraflames are all HB also. Uh, write very well. The core is standard, standard type core thickness. Um, which is fine, but the wood is just, uh, the cedar is just incredible. So, really, really excited that I found some. And that's one of the great things about the eBay, right? Is sometimes you can search and find things and go from there. I think they were seventeen fifty with free shipping. Um... I think the seller wanted uh, $20. I offered $15. They came back with $17.50, and I took it, and uh, and they sent them. So that's really great. And for the five pencils, obviously, that's pretty expensive, Two dollars, almost $2 a piece. Well, more than $2 a piece. Um, but uh, like I said, they're vintage. And I wish, I wish they would make them again. I wish they would bring them back. Um, but... Uh, Obviously, they're two different companies now. So, all right, that's my uh, that's my pencil weirdness story. Um, I have more pencil reviews on the channel, so check them out. And uh, it's it's really uh, it's really fun to find a product which, um, and whether you're talking you know uh, black wings or Tombos or Mitsubishi's, when you find certain things that are at the top of their game. They're at the top 1% of the available product. And and then it's it's fun also because, for the most part, pencils are pretty cheap. I mean, you know, anywhere from 8 to $22 a dozen. Um, and then, uh, you know, you can go from there and find, find what you want to find. But, yeah, pretty excited. All right. Thanks for watching my uh, pencil rambling, and we'll catch you later.